activate negativity, activate negativity. Listen to this, right? So everybody's pissed off as Netanyahu on uh, Israel. Israeli hostage is making a, releasing a crying videos for their release by Hamas, okay? Or by Hamas. It's a dual citizenship. First of all, and second of all, is that what are you, first of all, what are you doing over there? You know, if, if US, if you're a US citizen and the US people, the family, the families are crying like, oh, please leave him, please leave him. He's under hostile, right? What are you doing over there, first point? What are you doing on Israel? I don't get it. If you're a US citizen and dual citizen, you know, most of the people usually pick one, but what's so important that you gotta be over there? What's so important? Like, what are you doing over there? That's my point. This is the thing. I mean, it's my second video about this, is that what are you doing? If you're a citizen, if you're a US citizen, what in the world are you doing over there? You know, why you went when there? If, if the monies are all over here in the United States, what are you doing over there, my friend, you know? And then your family is crying, like, you know, it, 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 the family is crying. This is the, the message is that, why would you even let your friends, your, your family member, the father or brother, why would you let him go over there anyway? He must be very independent. Like he had to, he, he have to get like a thousands and thousands of dollar deal per day to be on Israel. I know the economy was better before. The economy is still great. I get it. But what position that you're going to be working over there that you have to go there, leave US, a great place like us over here and go over there. Now, when all of a sudden Israeli American got attacked, then we have to release you. Of course, it's important to release somebody. No one should be dying over there. I hear you. But the thing is that like, I don't get it. How that even like, what are you doing over there? In first point, that's the, that's my questions. What are you doing over there? You should not be over there even before the attack. And this is not just one Americans doing this or American Israeli are involved. There's multiple of them over there, you know, and somebody, if somebody give you offer, who even give you offer? How you even got the offer to work there? I don't get that. If you're a US, if you're Israeli citizen, then you become a US citizen. Okay. Go somewhere else. Go to Thailand a little bit. Go to, go work, a, a, go to Saudi a little bit. Go. You know, you're really that desperate for money just because somebody gave you a $10,000 deal and you know, like I'm saying, you better not be getting, obviously not getting paid minimum wage. The thing is that, what are you doing over there? I don't get it. Like, you know, before the war or even safety, like what are you doing there? Like th this is a thing that does not make sense. Like why would you, how you even got into that point anywhere? This is the questions. That's the thing. Like how, you know, and, and just because somebody gave you offer, that's what I'm saying. A lot of question rise. Like how you even got the offer in first point, you know, who gave you the offer? How much they propose you? What type of contract that did you sign that you have to be there, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? All the money's over here. You can do so much thing. You can even work at McDonald's and you don't have to go through this because if these people kill you right now, message to the family that, man, you guys, I don't know what to tell you, but this does not make any sense, bro. I'll tell you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My friend, how are you? Chill, chill, chill.